This presentation is about Family Search Consultant Planner. All of us need a little help once in a while. If you are serving as a Temp 1 Word Family History Consultant or a Family History Missionary, or if you understand Family Search and just want to help someone else, Family Search has created an easy program to help us help them. You can get to the Consultant Planner by clicking under Help and then click on Helper Resources. You may be familiar with the previous consultant planner that looks like this. This page will eventually go away as they have added a lot more features now to help consultants. This fan chart with all its different views is now uh, on the tree page of Family Search. This is a new screen for the consultant planner and you can go from old to new by clicking here. You still invite people the same way, but what has changed is they have added a lot more resources that are helpful for all of us, whether we are in a ward and family history consultant or not. This is a work in progress, so the screens may change, but the information should stay in one form or another. Like the Family Search homepage, this screen here will change often, giving us little tidbits of information and opportunity to learn more on a variety of family history things. Going down the page, uh, we can see all the things that are new in Family Search. If you have ever gone to uh, show something in Family Search and find that things aren't there anymore, or they've added something you've never seen before, well, now you have a quick and easy place to go to keep up with all the changes. Under Personalized Family History Experiences, there are about 10 pages of ideas to help us create inspiring and personalized family history experiences that bring joy to those they serve. It should be based on the interests of the person or family. One page leads to the next page and you can visit each one for ideas that might give you and those you help a personalized and enriching experience. On down is Family History Activities. The program adds you automatically. This is where you see which ancestor you look most like or learn about yourself or see your face in the style of the 1800s or other countries. I like the fact for each activity under an in-home activities, they give you a choice of things to do that are digital or not digital. Under My Temple and Family History Network, it gives you names and phone numbers of people in your stake or ward who are called as Family History Consultants, who you can call on for help. I have blanked their names out to protect their privacy. Connect with Others is a wonderful way to share ideas with other Family History Consultants. We can share ideas for ward and family hi history activities, what has worked, what has not worked. We can share resources. We can ask questions to the community and get others' ideas on anything related to family history. Over on the sidebar are all kinds of things to explore, including Elder Renlund's Temple and Family History Leadership Instruction and many more articles to help us with our family history. Under this section, you can find language and research help. Insert a country a language they speak, and a language they need, and click Find Help tab. Others in this network are willing to give of their time and talents to help others. You can also share your uh, language skills to help others by clicking here. Under Additional Resources, there are three categories. Calling News and Tools, Tell Us the Latest Consultant News, Family History Center Operations Guide You, to operate a family history center. How to Help Others shares ideas on helping others have a joyful family history experience. Training presentations are downloadable in PowerPoint and PDF format. There are lessons to train priesthood holders, uh, ward councils, and temple and family history consultants. Media resources and videos covering family history topics that educate, motivate, and inspire. Under the title, How to Use Family Search, will take you to the Family History Guide to learn the basics. It can also teach you some basic skills to help others find their ancestors. You can learn about indexing tools or find answers to common questions about family history and temple ordinance policies. You can find these policies in the Help Center, but sometimes they're hard to find if you don't put in just the right search words. Having all these policies in one place is a great time saver. 
under this title which says learn about temple and family history callings if you are a family history leader in your ward you would want to click here and read the articles listed here if you're a temple and family history consultant in your ward you would click here to read about these articles and help you with your calling so how do you get started with the consultant planner ask someone if they would like to have some help with their family history ask them if they would allow you to go in and review their family search tree so that you can be better prepared to meet their needs if they say yes inform them that when you send them an email they will need to look for that email from you and respond to it to add someone to the planner click here where it says add someone to the planner on the next box that comes up you have choices one you can send them an email if they are in your water stake start typing their name and it will bring up your water stake directory and put their email in automatically if they don't have their email listed with a water stake or they live elsewhere you can enter their email manually or two if you want to help them right away obtain their username and helper number to find a helper number number click under a person's name and go into settings under account it is here at the bottom it is the last five digits of your membership number found on your temple recommend or on LDS tools phone app this might be preferable if you are needing to help them immediately emails can take some time to get back to you so keep this in mind when helping someone I will show you how to email from the consultant planner sometimes entering a name will bring up couples so if you only want one of them just click on the one that you want uh, under select on the next pop-up box you'll see this email and you can just click OK B sharp will get this request from me to view his tree he just has to click here and they will take him to sign in family search page and on the next box that comes up he will click on grant permission again B sharp will get this email and he could revoke it here if he changed his mind if he didn't change his mind then it will say congratulations Judith Lynn Sharp has access to your family search account and can help you with your family history goals now you can see that B sharp has no longer just been invited now he is added to the planner once he is added you can go now go in and see his tree and help him with his family history they stay on your help list for a year but you can take them off by hovering at your mouse in this corner and when you see the trash can just click on it and the name goes off your list so when you click on a person you are helping you will see the following things discovery ideas are in three sections you are seeing the family history activities and they can see their ancestors in some of these some of the things like compare a face or all about me can be seen why cannot be seen while you are helping them because it will pull you up but they can see these things if they google familysearch.org slash discovery and sign in as themselves going down the page they will see people in their tree that have hints and under temple there are people in their tree that may need temple work done or people that need more information and people who have duplicates below discovery the tree icon shows the fan chart you can create a note by clicking on the green plus sign clicking on the green plus sign under plans brings up a form so you can fill out a plan of action for the one you're helping fill it out and then save it under actions you open up the uh, plan titles you can print it out download it or delete it under help from others allows one to find language and research help by filling in the three boxes and clicking on the find help tab or if they have a skill they would like to share they can check the appropriate boxes and share their expertise you will see this green bar at the top of the page when you're helping someone remember to click on the X when you finish helping them you can add someone to the consultant planner by going to your phone I can't access all the functions like on your computer at this present time but it makes it easy to sign someone up if you're at church or on the go so go to the main menu three dots at the bottom right for the iPhone or the three bars at the top left for the Android tap on help on the next screen tap helper resources tap on add someone and on the next screen you would continue to add from Warder stake add their email or add by helper number 
It didn't bring up a list like it did for the computer, but you can type it in. It's fun to see others discover their family tree, stories, and memories, and to see them expressing joy and excitement as they are able to participate in blessing the lives of their ancestors. You can feel good that you played a part in helping them. So yay for you! This concludes this presentation. Thanks for watching and have a great day.